So, what do you think of when you think villains? This. This. Probably this. Yeah. But when I go into my mind, I think of a little boy. Wilson Fisk is not only the best villain in the MCU, but I would argue he may be one of the most compelling antagonists of all time. That I am the ill intent. Daredevil, well, Daredevil season one, is great. It's arguably the best comic-to-film adaptation and probably one of the best television shows, period. I can convince myself I watch it for the action. I can convince myself it's for Matt and his all-too-relatable depression. But the truth is, it's all because of this one scene right here. You guys are smart enough to get it, right? It doesn't need much explaining. Help. This is barely a video essay and more of a declaration of my love for good ol' Willie Fisk. <laughs> ah shit. I'll just explain it anyway. Ever look at D'Onofrio's performance and think, Holy shit, this is so fucking good. What is he doing that's so different and unique? Shit, I gotta move out of my Uncle Carl's basement and start making video essays. <laughs> Ever wonder why he still orders Zupa? It's okay, honey. You have some Zupa, okay? I'm not hungry. You eat it. It'll make you feel better. We'll have a Zupa. Yes, sir. Chocolate was always my downfall. Ever wonder why he has constant temper tantrums akin to a 12-year-old whose mom won't renew his Xbox Live? Because Wilson Fisk never grew up. That's why he sees himself as the 10-year-old boy who bashed his father's head in with a hammer. Keep kicking him! Keep kicking him! Keep kicking him! Keep kicking him! It's okay, mommy. It's all right, baby. It's all right. Shh. It's all right, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> because in his mind, he still is. D'Onofrio is so good because he is transforming himself into a six-foot-tall, 200-pound boy. You took that away from me! You took everything! I'm gonna kill you! Fisk is, and will always be, the scared little boy fueled by rage, covered in blood. Whether it be the blood of his father... Okay, mommy. It's alright. It's alright, baby. It's alright. Shh. It's alright, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Or the blood of the city. I wanted to make this city something better than it is. Something beautiful! Wilson Fisk is intriguing while also being terrifying, just like childhood. So perhaps the reason why I find him to be so compelling is because in some weird, twisted way, I remember being like him. Not in the hammer to my dad's head kind of way, but I was once a scared, angry, lonely kid who strived to change everything around me. Looking at Wilson Fisk is somehow, some way, almost like looking through a mirror into a twisted past. Almost like looking at a nightmarish version of yourself who never grew up who never gave up your silly childhood emotions or dreams. But I guess at some point, we all have to leave the dreamlike world of childhood and just wake up.